I was in this village, and I, I go into it at great length in the book, but I, I don't wear armor or, or a helmet because the only way at 70 that I can stay up with, with the guys is, you know, I strip it off, they have 40 pounds on, and I figure God's going to call me when he's going to call me, but I'm not going to lug that stuff every day. So I had on my, my baseball hat, Red Sox. And so there I am in the middle of nowhere with, with this Marine squad that had moved in, and he just come into the Ville. They had, I don't think they'd ever seen an American before. And I'm, the, I'm talking through the interpreter to the mullah who's in charge. Nice fat old guy. And he says, what's that? And I said, oh, that's the Boston Red Sox. They're world champions. And I, he said, well, what's baseball? So I explained it's a little bit like cricket. So he looked at me for a minute and he said, did you play for them? Yeah. I couldn't resist. I mean, who's going to find out? So all of a sudden... <laughs> All of a sudden, I was Yastrzemski, so I said, yeah, yeah, I, I could really hit the ball. And he said, really? And he said, what would be a score of a game? I said, oh, 7 to 4, 8 to 5. And then he said something to all the other Afghans that were there, and everyone burst out laughing. And the interpreter turned to me and said, hey, sir, he said, I got to tell you. He said, in cricket, the score is 120 to 100. He said, he just said, no wonder they sent you to Afghanistan. You're the poorest athlete in America. 